There is this place in Mozambique where you actually have to wait for the water to fill the lagoon by incoming tide before you can jump in for a dive. It happens two times a day and you usually have about two to three hours before outgoing tide. The shores of this place are filled with mangroves, salt tolerant trees that are considered essential in filtering out pollution from the ocean. Among their bare pointy roots lives a variety of small marine life. And nearby grow patches of seagrass full of the weirdest marine creatures ever. And every dive produced some stunning finds and encounters with usually small but mostly very rare animals, poking their heads out of many random hideouts. I found a nudibranch I haven't seen ever before on a coral reef, and this one was quite fast for a sea slug. Then there were sea hares, bizarre, sluggish looking creatures that get their name from two pointing her ear-like rhinophores sticking out of their heads. They lick clean all algae of any debris that they find on the lagoon bottom. A very surprising find was a juvenile sea moth, literally thumb size. What is surprising is that this bottom dwelling fish usually resides in the deeper parts of the coral reef. And this one here was found on a depth of about 1.5 meter. It only confirms that many species use shallow waters of a lagoon as nursing ground for their young. Focus on the tiny crustaceans, probably mice's shrimp buzzing around the sea moth. He is going to have quite a feast here. This is how an adult version of a sea moth looks like, found on a nearby coral reef at a depth of 30 meters. Another wandering creature that you don't usually expect to find in such shallow waters was a large jellyfish. They usually roam the open waters of Indian Ocean, but this one somehow drifted inside the lagoon. It has got a busload of hitchhikers attached to its body. As many as a dozen brittle stars have taken a free ride. Brittle stars are close relatives to sea stars, but as you can see here, they prefer to travel long distance, using any means of transport available. This jellyfish is not harmed by the brittle stars. It might even get some parasite cleaning as a payment for the transport. This lagoon is also a home for the most bizarre and alien-like creature. A snake sea cucumber. Something straight out of a nightmare. They move their segmented bodies across the bottom using a similar to earthworms muscular contraction technique. When I dived here for the first time, I hadn't seen this species before. You have to be really careful around them, as they have tiny hooks on their skin and can attach firmly to, for example, a diver's wetsuit. Tentacles around their mouths are used to gather and kind of lick off any residual organic matter from grass blades. Snake sea cucumber from this area basically does that all day, as it can grow to a decent length of even 2 meters, so it needs plenty of food. There are certain spots in this lagoon where large groups of them form, making for a rather creepy sight. You need a lot of courage to get any closer to this nest of snake-like bodies even if they are generally very slow moving and harmless. <laughs> 